Hey friends, welcome back to Resident Evil. Sorry I missed a week. Um, seems like that happens a lot lately. <clears throat> you might be uh, noticing my uh, my voice is a bit. I guess I guess gruff would be the word. Um, I uh, I wanted to uh, provide you with a uh, tip. And that tip is, you probably shouldn't go drinking on a Sunday. Because uh, work today will not be fun. I have a late shift. So I'm recording this in... Well, it's it's not morning. But it's, it's morning for me. So. We have the club key. <coughs> uh, there's only one door that key fits into. But we gotta find our way back. To where, oh, right. This is where the uh, the plugs and shit. That's what we're doing here. So we are just heading back to the police station, if I remember correctly. There, I haven't found a good way to uh, to check out, uh, to, to look at older um, look at older maps or other maps, I guess. Oh shit! I forgot about this. Oh my god, the spiders! No, no, no. Okay, we can just run past them. Oh, I cannot run past that guy. Oh, please don't tell me that's a poison. Did you poison me? No, you didn't poison me. Good. Yes, I will go up the ladder. I suspect that the... Um, uh, the club key will open a door. Oh, that's where the club key goes. Oh, it's not one door. It's several doors. Oh, cool. And we have a lot of places to explore. Anyway, I suspect the club key... Well, I was actually going to say that I suspect the club key to take us into rooms where uh, there... Uh, a, a room, uh, I should say, that would contain a boss, but now... It probably won't be. Um... Okay, so just follow this path through the big room and then go open that little door. And at some point we will want to... Uh, we need power. Uh, but no, we don't need power. We need a... Uh, we need a card. A card. Oh, we didn't actually get to explore this parking lot last time we were here but there doesn't look like there's anything of interest here maybe that power panel perhaps okay I have to say I've really enjoyed this playthrough it's just um, I've been a bit uneven with it because it's been a uh, it's been rough finding the free time to record lately well, not so much rough to find a free time. I guess I've just been a bit down on recording, to be honest. Um, while I do like creating these... Oh. 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 That's a liquor. No doubt in my mind that's a liquor. Oh, there he is. I see him. Whoa, fucking hell. Okay, shotgun. Oh my god. Ah! Oh. Another one! No, I'm gonna die! Oh, I'm gonna die! No! Oh, so close to dying. Oh, bad, 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 I'm not asking for much. I just need you to be not alive anymore. Woo! Oh my god. Those things are frightening. They probably shouldn't be as frightening as I make them out to be, but they are frightening. You know there's a remake coming out for this game? 
it's gonna be awesome. I hope they do. I hope they do the remastered, uh, Resident Evil remastered way of remaking and not turning it into. Uh, well, you know, you know how they've said that uh, Final Fantasy VII remastered is gonna contain the uh, battle system from from Kingdom Hearts, uh, eschewing the um, autopsy room. You have used the top key. Good. Um, they're eschewing the old uh, active time battle system from the older Final Fantasy series. And the same battle system they used in Final Fantasy VII. And the one I prefer. And uh, I think it's a shame that they're going towards a more active playstyle like in Final Fantasy XV. Which I didn't. I stopped playing about halfway through. Because the battle system was boring. Magic was crap. You didn't control your party members and all that stuff. And I'm hoping that the remake for this game will stick to its roots. I mean, I'm open to them not having tank controls. Although I do strongly believe that the tank controls are of, are actually important to this game. And this room is going to get hairy. Yeah, okay. What's this? Okay, so the second I take this key card, all hell is gonna break loose. Yeah, I knew it. Here come the monsters. We might need to, uh, to shotgun this. Or maybe not, actually. If I could get into my menu, this is a faster way to reload. I can't see shit. <laughs> Come on. Come on. I did it! Is there something inside this room? We can check this out thoroughly now. Well, these guys have a dead party here. It's weird that this corpse is on the trolley, but I am not allowed to do anything to it. I guess the only thing I get I went in here for was the key card. But yeah. So. I guess th those are my thoughts for <laughs> the remake of this game. I hope they stick to its roots. Make it a survival horror and not just a uh, walking simulator horror thing like with... Uh... I mean... If you're a fan of this channel and if you follow my work on this channel, then you know that I liked... Um, then you know that I liked Resident Evil 7. It was a good game. It was back to its roots. Uh, in all the right ways. I'm still unsure on the first person thing. I think it gets too intense. I like seeing my character. But I guess that's the point. Hmm. This is supposed to be weapon storage. But there's no weapons here. Well, there's ammo. Handgun bullets or H-gun bullets. I don't know. It's, it's, hard, it's hard to describe. That's what I'm saying. Resident Evil 7 is good, and I think they should work uh, work on it, but I think making... Oh, there's a machine gun and a side pack. With the side pack, I can carry more items. Will you equip it? Well, this is one of those things where you leave stuff behind again. If I take the side pack, I get two more inventory slots, I think. And I'm actually... I You know what? I will take the side pack. Yes, I will equip it. Is being equipped. The glorious, the glorious sounds. So let's look at our inventory now. Oh man, look at all this space! Hmm, two more slots. I can actually carry a couple of weapons with me now. So machine gun. I should probably save it for Claire. Yeah. N no, I will not take it. What about this? Oh, it's the same door. Alright, 
So, from where, from what I've gathered from various bits and bobs, uh, this game is so old that uh, crying spoilers <laughs> is uh, pointless. But there's two side packs in this game from what I've gathered. There are bullets there and I've walked completely past them. So, hopefully Claire will get a side pack after all. I have still not decided whether or not to do the Claire playthrough as well. Um, I'm actually going to leave that up to, to viewers. But I might stream it instead. And that's what I was going to say earlier about the uh, the recording stuff. Because I don't I like recording this thing these things. Um, I made a blunder and didn't... I haven't spent enough time cropping the video in, uh, video in this series. So... Every single one looks like shit, but I'd rather have everyone look the same than have several changes in quality. And I don't want to re-upload them either, because they're Let's Play, so I'd, I'd rather just leave them as is. But I could have made them look better. Um, could have scaled them to the proper format and, uh, and all that jazz. Uh, let's see in here now. Oh. Directly into a club key door. Perfect. But uh, one one thing I should well, one thing I want to say though is that even though I do like creating this stuff, uh, recording and editing and uh, all that jazz takes a lot of time. Well, not a lot of time. I'm not gonna be like everyone else that says, "Oh, it takes like forever to produce videos like this." Because um, to be honest, making let's plays. Uh, at least in the way that I feel like I want to present Let's Plays, uh, is minimal effort in terms of editing and stuff like that, but I want to do more. Uh, and while it doesn't require a lot of effort, uh, it does require time, because uh, rendering video and uh, stuff like that, it just, it just locks up my computer, and I don't make any money off of this, so I don't like have, I don't have an editing computer and stuff like that, so... Um, and I want to spend that time doing something else, and streaming is more fun in general. Uh, I get to interact with you guys directly, and I'll be honest, these videos, they aren't getting a lot of traction. By the time this goes out, it'll be months until it gets uh, uh, more, more than one or two views. Which I'm grateful for, because I know those of you who are actively following and viewing these ser this series, I love you guys, and I know who you are. Watchman's Diary. Uh, I finally had the chance to see blue skies for the first time in ages, but it did little to lift my spirits. I was reprimanded by the chief for neglecting my duties while I was on the while I was up on the clock tower. There's only one thing I still don't understand. The chief seemed to be more concerned about the fact that I was up on the tower rather than oh shit, this text is awful to read. Rather than that, I was neglecting my duties. Uh, why was access to the tower prohibited in the first place anyway? Um, I recently talked to the old man who works in the scrapyard right back. His name is Thomas. He's a quiet man and really seems to enjoy chess. He even went as far, uh, so far as to design a special key and lock engraved with chess pieces on them for one of the doors in the disposal yard. We made plans to play chess tomorrow night. I can't help but wonder how good he is. One thing that's been bothering me about him is that... Oh shit, this text is... Is the way that he's always scratching himself. Does he have some sort of skin disease or is it just rude? Why is it rude to scratch yourself? Uh, Thomas was a much better player than I had, I, 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 uh, I had imagined. I used to think of myself as a fairly decent player, but he did a pretty good job of humbling me. About the only thing I imagine, I imagine that I uh, that could match his skills in chess is his appetite. All the guy did was talk about food throughout the entire game. He sounded fairly healthy, but he didn't look quite right. I wonder if he's okay. He was a zombie, you idiot! I was supposed to play another game of chess with Thomas, but he had to cancel because he hasn't been feeling too well. He stopped by to see me, but I told him to go back and rest since he was, since he literally looked like The Walking Dead. He insisted that he was just fine, but I could tell he was really having problems. Come to think of it, I haven't been feeling too good myself lately. Alright, he was turning into a zombie. We get it. And this is the watchman, I guess. His throat and abdomen have been torn out. Ooh. 
I will take the Magnum. Because that's the best part of a, a Resident Evil game. Getting the Magnum. So you can completely wreck the shit out of anyone who opposes you. So yeah. That's a further... Uh, I think that's the... Uh, nothing. Oh, nothing in his locker. So that's another sharing space, maybe. A paper more than a week old. But yeah, that's if, uh, uh, I think that's the plans going forward for uh, for my contribution to this to this channel. Uh, we've all de we've all agreed that we need to make more of the multiplayer stuff because a lot of our um, a lot of you guys have asked us to do more of those, and uh, we agree. It's just a bit uh, time. Yeah, it's always time. It's always going to come back to time. Um, but we are making an effort. We really are. And um, I will probably be streaming a bit more than I have. But we've got to finish up this series first. And Resident Evil 2 is going to be a recorded series. And if anything else, you're, you're still going to find the videos here. It's just that they're going to be long and they're going to be archives from streams. And one thing that annoys me with streams uh, co when compared to... Uh, when compared to um, to making videos, is that with streams, uh, the backlog in streams, unless you record and stream at the same time, which is a real strain on computers, and especially with capture cards in the mix, um, you re you really get put in this uh, position where you have to. Uh, well, you, usually the stream archives, especially with uh, with. Um, uh, with Twitch, because with Twitch, Twitch for streaming is so much better than YouTube. But YouTube does one thing much better than Twitch, and that is the archival of old footage. They keep it for longer, and the quality has been much better than we've noticed with Twitch. Which is why we're re-streaming to YouTube while we're on Twitch. We want people to follow us on Twitch, but we need to stream it to YouTube too in order to uh, get a decent uh, get a decent capture of over there. Picture of a man on a carriage. Something is on the wheel. Oh, it, I know what it is. Uh, light the queen, the king, and the jack, and the carriage will start running. Okay, this is a lighter. Oh, it's a film. What? What did it say? Light the queen, the king, and the jack. Light the queen, the king, and the jack. Okay, and the carriage will start running. Because we need that thing for the clock tower. That's the, um... You know. Light the queen, the king, and the jack. I like these puzzles. It's, a, it's totally messed up. Okay. Good to know. Uh, the number 13 has been etched. Number 12 has been etched. What about this? So nothing. Oh, the number 11 has been etched. You can light a fire here. Okay, let's light a fire. It's already lit. Right, let's uh, light all of these. What? No? Why? Will you turn the faucet on? Sure. Yes. No. Okay. Alright, so maybe not light this one? Are there more of these things to light? Because it's just numbers, not, not the other things. Uh, light the queen, the king, and the jack. Then the carriage will start running. Is that a sequence of things to do it in? So 12, 13, and then 11? Let's try that. Sure. Queen. I'm not sure if this is correct. Because the busts don't add up. No, I was correct. 
Oh, there it is. Let's go get it. Bonk. The G cog wheel. Yes, I will. I think that was all we needed from this room, because this this should give us access to the um, the clock tower. And I assume we'll find our last element of the um, uh, the the chessboard thing when we get there. But hey, we're at twenty minutes. Why don't we call this an episode, and in an uh, and the and in the next one, we'll see you. Uh, I'll be able to meet you guys in the clock tower. How's that, huh? Well, it's not live, so you don't get to choose. So that's <laughs> that's how it's gonna be. Thank you guys so much for watching, and check back in the next episode for you know uh, clock tower stuff. Yeah. Okay. Bye. <laughs>